Uh, since we did not uh, formally adjourn yesterday, we uh, will not call this meeting formally to order, but let me just uh, repeat a few things. First of all, uh, those of you uh, in the back, can you hear me? Thank you. Uh, second of all, let me just remind everybody that this meeting is being recorded. Um, uh, second and finally, uh, let me just ask people to make sure their cell phones are on silent or uh, shut off altogether. Uh, we uh, will continue exactly where we left off on the agenda yesterday, uh, which is uh, uh, on item number seven. So we have uh, quite a few staff recommendations with respect to renewals, final licenses, provisional licenses. Uh, that is it on the agenda. I do not have any uh, business that I was not aware of when this agenda was posted. Um, my guess is that this will be a relatively short meeting, uh, perhaps a couple hours, but uh, you never know with uh, my fellow commissioners and myself. So uh, well, let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to suggest that we uh, power through, at least for the first couple hours, see if we can get done and uh, not take a break. But uh, we'll take a lunch break, certainly, if, uh, if we aren't done uh, um, in that time. Uh, I want to thank the uh, enforcement staff uh, and the, uh, particularly the, the ever-expanding licensing team. Uh, there's a large number of uh, applications uh, that we're going to review today, and I know uh, um, explicitly the work that goes into it. So thank you very much uh, in advance. And also uh, to Ms. Potvin, thank you very much because uh, you're going to be doing the bulk of the speaking for the next couple of hours. So thank you for that. Let me just get to the right place in the agenda. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that uh, going forward, starting with our meeting in October, uh, uh, my intent is to uh, have the Commission discuss and vote on renewals and uh, final licenses as rosters. Um, when we publish the list of uh, licenses that are going to be on the agenda, um, the, uh, each of the commissioners has an opportunity to say they would like to remove one or more of those licenses from the roster so that we can discuss them individually. But the starting assumption will be that we'll discuss uh, renewals and final licenses as, uh, as a roster. Uh, since we have not yet um, moved into that uh, mode today, I'm just going to go through them one by one, and we'll discuss and vote on them one by one. So let me get to uh, oh, the right place. Um, we have, um, I think, a total of 15 renewals, but let's, uh, let's start with Patriot Care Corporation, um, MCR 139826. Um, you, you gave us a summary um, of, of them, so unless there's additional comments, I'll just ask the Commission if they uh, have any questions or concerns on uh, this first license that's up for renewal. Uh, we're right now just doing Patriot Care, MCR 139826, yes. Cultivation. Commissioner Flanagan. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to have two conditions put on um, <clears throat> actually the renewals for Patriot Care, but it is at the retail level. Okay, so we'll, Cultivation, you have no uh, conditions or <coughs> comments? Um, any other comments or conditions uh, with respect or proposed conditions with respect to Patriot Care? Commissioner Title. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to propose a condition um, that actually. This is for cultivation specifically? Yeah, it will thank actually you. apply to all of them. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. To, thank you. To resubmit um, the update on progress to the diversity plan within 60 days. Um, and I'll just reiterate I'm happy to work with licensees that want to, um, any of them that want to talk more about what that update should entail. Um, but what was submitted just stated that um, the parent company had created a diversity committee um, and sponsored a conference, um, and that's not relevant to what's required uh, for a diversity plan in terms of showing progress. Um, and then I also, the numbers didn't quite add up. It stated that Patriot Care had created 13 new jobs in Massachusetts, um, but hired 18 females and 15 minorities. I don't understand how um, those numbers relate to each other. Uh, any other comments or uh, questions on uh, Patriot Care uh, cultivation? The first one, MCR 139826. Okay, then uh, let me uh, let me ask, please, for a motion to uh, approve the renewal of Patriot Care Corporation MCR 139826 cultivation with the condition requested by Commissioner Title. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. I'll let the record show Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Flanagan. All in favor? Aye. Let's make sure the uh, renewal uh, recommendation for renewal passed uh, unanimously. Um, I, I apologize for doing this. There's one other thing I wanted to say in my uh, introductory remarks. Um, I uh, failed yesterday to thank the Department of Transportation for allowing us to use this room. I'm uh, very grateful for that. Um, they have asked us, however, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at one person particularly, but it applies to everybody. Um, they have asked us to ask all uh, uh, everybody in the audience to have nothing other than uh, water in bottles in the room. So I'd really appreciate it if, uh, if people could adhere to that. That's uh, directly from the Department of Transportation. So thank you very much. Um, 
Let's move on. Uh, second is Patriot Care Corporation, MPR 243483 Product Manufacturing. Uh, Commissioner Title, I'm assuming you would like the same condition yes, please. on this. Any other uh, comments or questions or conditions? Right. Okay, then uh, let me ask, please, for a motion to approve the renewal of Patriot Care Corporation, MPR 243483 Product Manufacturing, subject to the condition requested by Commissioner Title. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Was that Commissioner Title or Commissioner Doyle that made the motion? Uh, let the record show that Commissioner Doyle made the motion, seconded by Commissioner Flanagan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the Commission unanimously approved the uh, renewal of Patriot Care Corporation MPR 243483 Product Manufacturing Subject to Condition requested by Commissioner Title. Uh, next is Patriot Care Corporation MRR 205532 Retail. Uh, again, um, Commissioner Title, you would like the same condition. Um, Commissioner Flanagan? Mr. Chairman, I have a condition that I would like placed on both um, retail licenses for renewal from Patriot Care. It has come to my attention that there have been some concerns with regards to um, accommodations for patients and with patient uh, with product transfers for those patients. And Kyle, to make it easier, I emailed you the conditions that I'm going to ask to to have done, and I can okay. email them to the staff as well. Can somebody read them, whether it's you or Kyle? <coughs> I can. Please. Um, Thank you. I want them to within 60 days submit the licensees policies and procedures for ensuring maintenance of a sufficient quantity and variety of marijuana products for patients consistent with the requirements set forth in 935 CMR 500.140 subsection 10. And that also um, the licensee as a co-located medical and adult use retail establishment within 60 days provide the licensees policies and procedures for determining what qualifies as a reasonable substitution for a marijuana product under 935 CMR 500.140 subsection 10. That's it? Yes. Thank you. Any uh, comments or questions? And uh, let me ask please for a motion to approve the uh, renewal of Patriot Care Corporation MRR 20532 retail subject to the conditions requested by Commissioner Title and Commissioner Flanagan. Second. Can I have a second please? Second. Let the record show that Commissioner McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Let the record show that the Commission unanimously approve the renewal of Patriot Care Corporation MRR 205532, subject to the conditions requested by Commissioners Title and Flanagan. Uh, thank you. Next up is Patriot Care Corporation MRR 205533, retail. Um, I'm assuming Commissioners Title and Flanagan, you would like the same conditions imposed? Commissioner Flanagan? Yes. Uh, are there any other comments or questions? Uh, then let me ask, please, for a motion to approve the renewal of Patriot Care Corporation MRR 205-533 retail subject to conditions requested by Commissioners Title and Flanagan. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. I'll let the show Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let the record show that the Commission unanimously approved the renewal of Patriot Care Corporation MRR 205-533 retail subject to the conditions requested by Commissioners uh, Title and uh, Flanagan. Uh, next up, CDX Analytics LLC, ILR 267888, an independent testing laboratory. Um, are there comments or questions from the Commission? Okay, then uh, let me ask, please, for a motion to approve the renewal of CDX Analytics LLC. I I'm sorry, did I miss something? Uh, yes. I apologize, Commissioner Title. Sorry, um, I have a proposed condition to resubmit. Um, the update to both the diversity and positive impact plan as they were both in future tense and did not show any progress made. And do you have time limit? I'm um, sorry, within 60 days. Thank you. Any, I'm sorry, I apologize for missing it. Any other uh, comments or questions? Okay, uh, then let me ask for a motion to approve the uh, renewal of CDX Analytics LLC ILR 267888 Independent Testing Laboratory subject to the uh, condition requested by uh, Commissioner Title. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Uh, let the record show Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Flanagan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let the record show that the Commission approved the uh, renewal of CDX Analytics LLC ILR 267888 Independent Testing Lab, subject to the additional condition requested by Commissioner Title. Thank you. Uh, next up um, is MCR Labs LLC ILR 267887 Independent Testing Lab. Um, are there questions or comments from the Commission? Let's do that. Pardon? 
Okay, thank you. Then I'm going to ask, please, for a motion to approve the renewal of MCR Labs LLC, ILR 267887 Independent Testing Laboratory. Um, can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Yep. Uh, let the record show that Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let the record show the Commission unanimously approve the renewal of MCR Labs LLC, ILR 267887 Independent Testing Lab. Uh, next up is uh, Northeast Alternatives Incorporated, MCR 139828 Cultivation. Um, Mr. Executive Director, do you have a comment to make here? Uh, no, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I think, um, although not included as part of the materials for the Commission's uh, packet today, uh, I think it's worthy of consideration to add a condition to this renewal uh, that staff undertake an investigation. Uh, and make ultimately a determination on the licensee's continued suitability for licensure. Um, this is a component of our regulations as they exist today, uh, but I think, uh, again, just given the circumstances, it's worth uh, articulating that and making sure that uh, we make it a priority at, at our level, uh, again, to investigate uh, the circumstances and, and make that determination on their suitability. Uh, thank you, Mr. Executive Director. Could you um, just be as explicit as possible? What explicit um, condition are you proposing sure. that we consider and vote on? That commission staff would undertake an investigation and make a determination on the licensee's continued suitability for licensure. Thank you. Can I have uh, comments or questions? Uh, Mr. Commissioner Doyle. Thank you. Mr. Executive Director, uh, will you be reporting back to the commission uh, upon the conclusion of that investigation? Uh, depending on, on the, the results of that investigation, of course, I think, uh, again, I want to be clear, suitability runs with the license and is not uh, a new matter that gets uh, evaluated. So in any circumstance where a question may arise relative to the suitability, we will do that investigation. Uh, if there's a, uh, a circumstance where their suitability um, ultimately would result potentially in action on the license, that would ultimately come back to the commission um, at the conclusion of that investigation. Thank you. Are there other comments or questions? Um, if I, I would like to say, uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the proposal on Mr. Executive Director. I support it. I will vote for it. Um, I, I just want to point out that, at least in my, in my opinion, this is with all due respect, um, I, I'm not sure it's necessary, this condition is necessary. Um, I believe that uh, when we issue a license, whether it's a renewal or a um, new license, that uh, implicit in that license is that we have the right at any point where there's a violation of our regulations, including suitability, uh, we have the absolute right to take the appropriate action up to and including revocation of the license if necessary. So I, I think what you're saying is true, but I think it's, it's very clear, at least in my mind, and I hope in others, that, that we have that right under any circumstances. But thank you very much uh, for uh, that suggestion. As I said, I will vote for in favor of it. Can I have other comments, if there are, before I ask for a motion? Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I just, want to thank you. I just want to thank the executive director. I think the condition um, is, is necessary given uh, the situation and, and where we're at. I think it also goes to put others on notice that we are paying attention once again and that we're going to take the necessary action that we need to to ensure accountability in the Commonwealth, um, not only for the businesses but also for the consumers um, that may be participating in uh, buying these products. Thank you. Um, any other comments? Uh, then I'd like to ask, please, for a motion to uh, approve the renewal of Northeast Alternatives Incorporated, MCR 139A2A cultivation, subject to the additional commission that uh, was proposed by our executive director. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show that Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by uh, Commissioner Title. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Commissioner Private. Thank you. Uh, let the record show that uh, the Commission nationally approved the renewal of Northeast Alternatives Incorporated MCR 139828 cultivation subject to the additional condition uh, suggested by the uh, Executive Director. Thank you. Uh, let's move on. Northeast Alternatives Incorporated MPR 243486 product manufacturer. Uh, Mr. Executive Director, I presume you're suggesting the same uh, um, condition here. Um, are there any comments or questions? Uh, then let me ask, please, for a motion to approve the uh, renewal of Northeast Alternatives Incorporated MPR 243486 product manufacturer subject to the additional condition uh, uh, suggested by the Executive Director. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show that Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the Commission nationally approve the renewal of Northeast Alternatives MPR 243486 product manufacturing subject to the additional condition requested by the Executive Director. 
Uh, moving on, Cultivate Holdings LLC, MPR 243485, product manufacturer. Um, are there any comments or questions? Uh, then let me ask, please, for a uh, motion to approve the renewal of Cultivate Holdings LLC, MPR 243485, product manufacturer. Can I have a motion? Thank you. Could I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show that Commissioner uh, McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. Um, can I ask for all, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the uh, Commission unanimously approved the uh, renewal of Cultivate Holdings LLC, MPR 243485, Park Manufacturer. Um, I believe, Commissioner Title, are you recusing yourself with respect to the next one? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, since Commissioner Titles recused, we'll uh, vote uh, by individual uh, uh, vote rather than uh, voice vote. Uh, uh, next is Temesco Wellness of Massachusetts LLC, MRR 205531 Retail. Um, are there any questions or comments? Uh, then can I have a motion, please, to approve the renewal of Temesco Wellness of Massachusetts LLC, MRR 205531 Retail? Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show that Commissioner McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. Commissioner Doyle, your vote? Aye. Commissioner Hoffman, aye. Commissioner Flanagan? Aye. Commissioner McBride? Aye. Thank you. Let the record show that the Commission approved the uh, renewal of Temesco Wellness of Massachusetts LLC, MRR 205531, by a vote of four in favor. Commissioner Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, McBride, with Commissioner McBride recusing herself. No. I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I, I'm very sorry. Commissioner Title recusing herself. I apologize for that. Uh, next up is Temesco Wellness of Massachusetts LLC, MRR 205529 Retail. Um, are there any questions or comments? Then can I ask for a motion, please, to approve the uh, renewal of Temesco Wellness of Massachusetts LLC, MRR 205529 Retail? Thank you. Can I have a second? Second. Uh, let the record show Commissioner McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by uh, Commissioner Doyle. Commissioner Doyle, your vote? Aye. Commissioner Hoffman, aye. Commissioner Flanagan? Aye. Commissioner McBride. Aye. Thank you. Uh, let the record show the Commission approve the uh, renewal of Temesco Wellness of Massachusetts LLC, MRR 205529 Retail by a vote of four in favor. Commissioner Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride with Commissioner Title recusing herself. Thank you. Uh, can we get Commissioner Title back, please? Okay. Uh, next up is Alternative Therapies Group, MRR 205530 Retail. Um, are there questions or comments? Yes. Commissioner uh, Title. I'd like to um, place the same condition on the, um, that's a request for more information on the diversity plan update um, as I did for the previous licenses. The so previous sa annual. the same 60 day timeline? Yes. Are there any other comments or questions? And then uh, could I ask, please, for a motion to approve the renewal of Alternative Therapies Group, MRR 205530 Retail, subject to the condition requested by Commissioner Title? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Uh, let's record show Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Title. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show the Commission and ask to approve the renewal of Alternative Therapies Group, MRR 205530 Retail, subject to the condition requested by Commissioner Title. Uh, next up is uh, Good Chemistry of Massachusetts Incorporated, RMD 725, which is a vertically integrated medical marijuana treatment center. Are there questions or comments? Then let me ask, please, for a motion to approve the renewal for Good Chemistry of Massachusetts Incorporated, RMD 725, vertically integrated medical marijuana treatment center. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. I'm sorry, is that Commissioner McBride? Uh, let the record show Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record, excuse me, let the record show that the Commission unanimously approved the renewal of Good Chemistry of Massachusetts Incorporated, RMD 725, Vertically Integrated Medical <laughs> Marijuana Treatment Center. Uh, next is page, Patient Centric of Martha's Vineyard LTD, uh, Limited, excuse me, um, RMD 11165, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Are there questions or comments? Mr. Chairman? Uh, Commissioner Doyle? Um, I think we have some outdated information. Um, I, I, 
can you speak just maybe a little more about sure. that? Thank you. Um, I think we our information on um, when they are projecting to get going and understanding that they have difficulties that other applicants don't have being uh, on the island, but I think we need a, a update on their projected timeline. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I would ask that uh, if they could submit that within the next 60 days. You're asking that as a condition? Yes, please. Are there other, thank you, are there other questions or comments? Okay, then let me ask please for a motion to uh, approve the renewal of patient-centric of Martha's Vineyard Limited RMD 1165 Vertical Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center subject to the condition requested by Commissioner Doyle. I'll move to. Can I have a second, please? Let the record show that Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the Commission unanimously approved the renewal of patient centric of Martha's Vineyard Limited, RMD 1165, that are vertically integrated medical marijuana treatment center, subject to the condition requested by Commissioner Doyle. Uh, next up is Tyka Green Incorporated, uh, which is a vertically integrated medical marijuana treatment center. Are there questions? Um, are there questions or comments? Uh, then can I ask please for a motion to uh, approve the renewal of Tyka Green Incorporated Berkeley Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center? So moved. I have a second, please? Second. That was Commissioner Doyle. Uh, let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show the Commission unanimously approve the renewal of Tyka Green Incorporated Berkeley Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Uh, next up is uh, the Green Harbor Dispensary uh, Limited Liability Corporation, RMD 1305, which is a vertically integrated medical marijuana treatment center. Are there any questions or comments? Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Doyle. I'd like that same condition that uh, they update their timeline within the next 60 days. Thank you. Uh, any other comments, questions? Uh, then could I ask please for a motion to approve the renewal of uh, the Green Harbor Dispensary Limited Liability Corporation, RMD 1305, Berkeley Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center, subject to the condition requested by Commissioner Doyle. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let the record show the Commission unanimously approves the renewal of the Green Harbor Dispensary Limited Liability Corporation, RMD 1305, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center, subject to the condition requested by Commissioner uh, Doyle. Uh, next up is the Green Harbor Dispensary, LLC, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Are there questions or comments? And let me ask please for a motion to approve the renewal of the Green Harbor Dispensary, LLC, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Uh, let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show the Commission unanimously approved the renewal of the Green Harbor Dispensary, uh, Limited Liability Corporation, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. I think the last renewal we have is uh, for Heal Incorporated, which is also a Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Are there questions or comments from the Commission? Then uh, let me ask, please, for a motion to approve the uh, renewal of Peel Incorporated Berkeley Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Let the record uh, show that the uh, Commission unanimously approved the renewal of Peel Incorporated Berkeley Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. I believe that is it on renewals, and I guess I kind of fooled myself. I thought you were going to do all the talking there, Mr. Potvin, but I ended up doing all the talking. And I appreciate it. Uh, just, try, just trying to help you out, but I, I don't think I can help you out with uh, what's going to follow. <laughs> so uh, let's move on to uh, final licenses. And again, uh, in uh, future meetings, uh, we will uh, vote on final licenses as a roster um, unless uh, prior to the meeting a commissioner uh, requests that one or more of them be discussed individually. But today we'll go through them all individually. So. Let us start with uh, Be Well Organic Medicine Incorporated, RMD 1245, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Mr. Potvin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you stated, the licensee here is Be Well Organic Medicine Incorporated. Their cultivation and processing um, facility is located at 92 Bolt Street in Lowell, Mass. Their dispensary is located at 17 Broad Street in Merrimack, Mass. This licensee's uh, dispensary location has not completed all of the required inspections as of the date of this recommendation. The licensee, however, was approved for a provisional licensure on July 20th of 2018. They have paid all their applicable fees to date. 
no new information has been reported to Commission staff regarding the organizational structure of the entity. Additionally, no new information has uh, been brought to Commission staff's attention regarding the suitability of the licensee. Commission staff inspected the licensee's facility at their cultivation and processing facility on July 11th of 2019. Their facility was inspected by staff and found to be in full compliance with the Commission's regulations. No evidence was discovered during the inspections that indicated that the Medical Marijuana Treatment Center was not in compliance with all applicable state and local codes and bylaws. Specific information that Commission staff investigated was the security requirements, inventory and storage requirements, their cultivation operation, and their product manufacturing operation. As previously stated, enforcement staff did not inspect the dispensary facility. Enforcement staff recommends a license condition requiring completion of all inspections of the dispensary facility no later than 120 days after issuance of this final license. Therefore, Commission staff do recommend a final license be issued with the conditions before you. Um, are there comments or questions? Uh, I have one, but I'll let others go first. Mr. Pryor? Um, can we just talk about um, the um, condition number six, please? Condition number six, as stated before you, is that the licensee shall have completed all construction and build out of its dispensary facility, the one that's located in Merrimack, Mass obtain a certificate of occupancy for the dispensary facility, and also complete all required inspections of that facility within 120 days of the issuance of this final license. Okay, thank you. Are there comments or questions? Great, then uh, please. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Commissioner McBride. Um, yeah. Because this is a, um, a first impression issue for us, right? I mean, for us as a commission, yes. could um, we just get a little bit of an explanation perhaps uh, about why this condition is needed and sort of our approach on um, this applicant and also just sort of moving forward, um, potentially what this may mean as we're looking at other vertically integrated operations. Sure, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, it's a good question. It is a first impression. Um, here in the, in the medical context as a vertically integrated license, there's a likelihood at least that uh, aspects of that vertically integrated license could be broken into two different locations. This is a, a case in point where the facility in Lowell is cultivation and processing, whereas the dispensary is intended to be located in Merrimack. Uh, and so those two being constructed at the same time uh, do lead to some potentially uh, local hurdles that need to be overcome, as well as some construction time frames. Here, the, the 120 days is an element that was uh, developed in cooperation with the licensee, uh, and also there's a, a high degree of confidence from the licensee standpoint uh, that they're able to achieve that objective. What this also does, though, from a, a process standpoint, is allows them, uh, potentially assuming that the commence operations is also issued on the cultivation and processing, uh, to get a supply in line so that when the Merrimack facility does, in fact, open up, uh, there will be a supply available for patients to be served. Um, so it's something that we've worked, I think, in cooperation with the licensee and, and tried to collaborate as best we can, but also putting some conditions on the back end where uh, if that Merrimack facility were not to open in that 120 days time frame, uh, that there would be a, a consequence to that, which is that the license would be deemed void um, and therefore um, essentially practically revoked. So uh, it, it's something, again, the, the licensee has represented to us that there's a, a comfort level of securing that time frame and meeting that time frame. Uh, this, uh, again, I think because of the vertically integrated nature of the license, is something that could come before the commission again with other licensees. Um, but it does give us a, an opportunity to work with licensees to develop that supply uh, so that when a dispensary can, in fact, be opened, that there's supply to, to stock those shelves and serve patients. So um, I, I think it's, a, it's an attempt at, at solving a, a pretty complex problem that we've confronted uh, with other provisional licensees that we're hoping to move down this, this process. And I think uh, to Commission Doyle's uh, earlier condition, other, other licensees, we found, at least in some circumstances, that's why folks have not been ready for a final license. So I think that that's really helpful. Um, I think particularly as we're looking um, at the, the medical context, we want to make sure that um, operations that are going to be serving medical patients, that we are able to bring those online. Um, would you consider this to be precedential? Would you consider it to be something that would setting a precedent for how we will operate going forward? Um, and if so, what's our plan to embed this sort of into um, 
you know, our commission operations and also telegraph that sure. to applicants. And uh, it, if this is something that meets with the commission's approval, which is something we um, have not taken for granted either, I think our next step would be to, there are, are a handful of provisional licensees uh, that may be in a similarly situated uh, position that we would want to engage and work through this process with. Uh, I'll admit this is something that, that organically came through staff as um, this licensee is in one aspect ready to go and they're, they're inching closer and, and very close to the, the finish line on their dispensary. Um, not wanting to break the license. It's one license. And so I think that's where uh, the condition serves that one license. Um, I, I would say that it would be precedential and something we would like to work with other licensees uh, to get those provisional licensees to a final license, ultimately get them operational, uh, again, to serve patients. I have to say that I really appreciate um, we're not treating this in a, a rigid fashion. Um, and I, I really appreciate the fact that we are trying to think creatively about um, how to address these issues as they come up. So um, I commend licensing for really bringing that to the fore, and I appreciate it. So thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, are there other questions or uh, concerns? And uh, let me ask, please, for a motion to approve the uh, final license for Be Well Organic Medicine Incorporated, or MD1245. Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center subjects to conditions contained in the staff recommendation. Second. So, second. Uh, let the record show Commissioner McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Flanagan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show the Commission unanimously approve the uh, final license for Be Well Organic Medicine, or MD1245, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Please sit down. Uh, you can leave, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, next up is uh, Green. Gold Group Incorporated RMD 786 Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Um, Mr. Potvin, would you walk us through your recommendation, please? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you stated, the licensee here is Green Gold Group Incorporated. Their cultivation and product manufacturing facility is located at 60 Prospect Street in North Brookfield. The, their dispensary facility is located at 46 Worcester Road in Charlton, Mass. The licensee was approved for a provisional license on May 22nd of 2017. The Department of Public Health approved this license for a partial final license for their cultivation and product manufacturing operation on April 28th of 2018. To date, the licensee has paid all the applicable license fees. There's been no new information reported to staff regarding the organizational structure of the entity. Additionally, there has been no new information regarding the suitability of the licensee. Commission staff inspected this licensee's facility on the following dates, July 11th of 2019. The licensee's facility was inspected by commission staff and found to be in full compliance with the commission's regulations. No evidence was discovered during the inspections that indicated that the center was not in compliance with applicable state and local codes and ordinances. Specific areas that were inspected by staff include security requirements, their inventory and storage requirements, their retail operation, and transportation operation. As previously stated, their cultivation and product manufacturing operation was previously inspected and given permission for a final license. Therefore, Commission staff do recommend issuing a final license for a dispensary with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Potvin. Are there questions or comments from the Commission? And then uh, may I ask, please, for a, uh, a motion to uh, approve the staff recommendation for uh, a final license to be issued to Green Gold, uh, Green Gold Group Incorporated, MR, RMD 786 Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. I moved. I have a second, please. Second. Let's record sure that uh, Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let's record sure the Commission has <coughs> approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to Green Gold Group Incorporated, Vertically Integrated Medical Marijuana Treatment Center. Thank you. Uh, next up is Apotheca Incorporated, MR281447 Retail. Mr. Potvin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you stated, the licensee is Apotheca Incorporated. Their location is 487-491 Linway, in, located in Lynn, Mass. The final license being sought here is a retail license. The licensee was approved for a provisional license on February 7th of 2019. The licensee has paid their applicable license fees. No new information has been reported to Commission staff regarding the organizational structure of the entity. Additionally, no new information has surfaced regarding the suitability of the licensee. Commission staff inspected the licensee's facility on May 2nd and May 30th of 2019. 
The licensee's facility was inspected by staff and found to be in full compliance with the Commission's regulations. No evidence was discovered during the inspection that suggested that they were not in compliance with applicable state laws and local bylaws or ordinances. Uh, specific areas that were inspected during the inspections include security requirements, inventory and storage requirements, and their retail operation. The transportation operations um, activities currently operate from the licensee's cultivation and product manufacturing facility. Therefore, Commission staff do recommend issuing a final license with the conditions before you. Thank you, Mr. Potvin. Are there any questions or comments on Apotheca? Um, uh, Commissioner wanna, McBride? I just want to flag one thing. So um, in the report, there is um, uh, an indication that um, Apotheca has an on-site generator um, with a somewhat limited battery life, I, I would say. Um, I would just like to flag this for the applicant, and I think that we should maybe make, um, uh, we should flag this for future applicants as well, um, that there is a change in the regulations that we, the draft regulations. Um, in this instance, it's a, it's a you know, fairly limited, I, I, it, it's significant. So I would um, just ask that we do flag this for this applicant um, or for, and, um, and for you know, future um, applicants and licensees um, that there is a, an, an expectation about um, the amount of time they're going to be able to may, remain operational um, in the event of a power outage for security purposes as well as for you know food safety etc. Um, Are you proposing a condition? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think that I would I would like a condition on here um, that they. Um, you know, within 60 days, um, come back with a plan for how they're going to increase um, the um, generation that is available to them in the event of an emergency. Okay. And I think that that's fair given where right. we're headed with okay. the regulations and implementation. Mr. Chairman, if I yes, sir, if Mr. I may, Executive Director, not to further complicate it, but perhaps the way the condition could read is that prior to commence operations, they update that plan. Are you, rather than having a specific time. Mr. McBride, are you okay with that? Yes, I'm fine with that. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Executive Director. Are there any other comments or questions? Okay, then uh, let me ask, please, for a, uh, a motion to approve the staff recommendation to issue a final license to Apothica, Apothica Incorporated MR281447 retail subject to the additional condition requested by uh, Commissioner McBride. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Uh, let the Director of Commissioner McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, let the Director of the Commission uh, unanimously approve the staff recommendation to issue a final license to Apotheca Incorporated MR281447 retail subject to the additional condition requested by uh, Commissioner McBride. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have uh, three Cura Leaf licenses. The first two are co-located, so we'll go through them and then uh, have separate votes and then we'll go through uh, the third retail location. So uh, could you uh, uh, go through uh, Curely Massachusetts Incorporated MC281309 Tier 11 Indoor Cultivation and Curely Massachusetts Incorporated MP281318 Product Manufacturing. <laughs> Mr. Potvin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you say to the licensee here is Curely Massachusetts Incorporated. The location of the facility is 30 Worcester Road, Unit B, located in Webster, Mass. The two final licenses being sought here is a tier 11 indoor cultivation license and a product manufacturing license. Both of these licenses were um, provisionally issued on October 18th of 2018. The licensee has paid all applicable license fees. No new information has been reported to staff regarding the organizational structure of the entity. No new information has been discovered by staff regarding the suitability of the licensee. Commission staff ins inspected this facility on March 19th of 2019 and May 2nd of 2019. The licensee's facility was inspected and found to be in full compliance with the Commission's regulations. There was no information that was discovered during, their, during these inspections that indicated that the facility was not in compliance with state laws and uh, local bylaws or ordinances. During this inspection, the investigators did um, review security requirements, inventory and storage requirements, their cultivation operation, and their product manufacturing operation, as well as transportation activities. Therefore, Commission staff do recommend issuing final licenses with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Potvin. Are there uh, any questions or comments? Again, we'll vote separately. Um, so can I ask please for a motion to approve staff recommendation to issue a final license to Cure Leaf, Massachusetts, Incorporated, MC281309, Tier 11, Indoor Cultivation? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Uh, let's work. Chair Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Uh, all opposed? Commissioner Title? Abstain. Uh, let the record show, thank you. Let the record show that the Commission uh, approves the staff recommendation to issue a final license to Secure Leaf Massachusetts Incorporated MC281309 Tier 11 indoor cultivation uh, with four votes in favor. Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride uh, with Commissioner Title abstaining. Uh, next, can I ask please for a uh, motion to approve the staff recommendation to issue a final license to Cure Leaf Massachusetts Incorporated MP281318 product manufacturer. Can I have such a motion please? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Uh, let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Commissioner Tuttle? Abstain. Uh, let the record show that the Commission approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to Cure Leaf Massachusetts Incorporated MP281318 product manufacturer with a vote of four in favor. Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride with Commissioner Title abstaining. Thanks. Uh, let's move on, please, to Cure Leaf Massachusetts Incorporated MR281263 retail. Mr. Potvin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The licensee here again is Cure Leaf Massachusetts Incorporated. The location is 425 Main Street, located in Oxford, Mass. The final license being sought here is a retail license. This license was given a provisional license on October 18th of 2018. They have paid all the applicable fees. Um, again, no new information regarding the organizational structure or the suitability of the licensee is known by the staff. Commission staff did inspect this facility on March 21st of 2019 and August 29th of 2019. This facility was inspected and found to be in full compliance with the Commission's regulations. No evidence was discovered during these inspections that suggested that they were not in compliance with applicable state laws and local bylaws or ordinances. During this inspection, Commission staff reviewed security requirements, inventory and storage requirements, and their retail operation. Again, their transportation operations uh, take place from their cultivation and product manufacturing facility located in Webster. Commission staff, therefore, do recommend issuing a final license with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Potvin. Are there questions or comments? I have, I have a question. So I would um, draw your attention to Exhibit L, which is the photograph of the signs that separate medical from adult use. Um, these signs appear to me to say that there's one line for adult use and one line for medical. And as we know, under our regulations, um, patients can choose to use either line. Um, so I would like for that to be clearer. Um, I would like for there to be a condition put on this that they clarify that that is the case. Thank you. Thank you. Are there other questions or comments? Then uh, could I ask please for a motion to approve staff recommendation to issue final license to Cure Leaf Massachusetts Incorporated MR281263 <laughs> retail subject to the additional condition requested by Commissioner McBride? Second. You have a second? Second. Let the record show the Commissioner McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Commissioner Title? Abstain. Let the record show that uh, the uh, Commission approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to Cure Leaf Massachusetts Incorporated MR281263 retail, subject to the additional uh, condition requested by Commissioner McBride. Uh, by a vote of four in favor, Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride, with Commissioner Title abstaining. Thank you. Uh, next up uh, is In Good Health. Uh, all three of these are co-located, um, so uh, let's uh, discuss them at, uh, or get your, uh, your report, Mr. Poppin, on all of them, and we'll vote separately, uh, starting with In Good Health Incorporated, MC281273, Tier 4 Indoor Cultivation, In Good Health Incorporated, MP281307, Product Manufacturing, and uh, In Good Health Incorporated, MR282468 Retail. Mr. Poppin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you stated, the licensee here is in Good Health Incorporated. The location is 1200 West Chestnut Street, located in Brockton, Mass. The three licenses being sought here are a Tier 4 Indoor Cultivation License, Product Manufacturing License, and Retail License. They, the licensee did receive um, final uh, provisional licensure for their cultivation and product manufacturing operations on February 21st of 2019, and additionally for their retail operation on May 16th of 2019. The licensee has paid all the applicable license fees. No new information has been reported to staff regarding the organizational structure of the entity. Additionally, no new information has been discovered by staff regarding the suitability of the licensee. Commission staff inspected the licensee's facility on July 2nd of 2019, as well as July 30th of 2019. Their facility was inspected and found to be in full compliance with the Commission's regulations. No evidence was discovered by during the inspection that indicated that the establishment was not in compliance with state laws and local codes or bylaws. Uh, during the inspection, investigators did review security requirements, inventory and storage requirements, their cultivation operation, 
product manufacturing operation, retail operation, and their transportation activities. Therefore, Commission staff do recommend issuing final licenses with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bachman. Um, are there questions or comments from the Commission? Okay, then uh, let me ask please for a motion to uh, approve staff recommendation to issue a final license to In Good Health Incorporated MC281273 Tier 4 Indoor Cultivation. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Commissioner Title? Abstain. Uh, let the record show that the Commission uh, approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to In Good Health Incorporated MC281273 Tier 4 Indoor Cultivation by a vote of four in favor. Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride with Commissioner Title abstaining. Uh, let me next ask for a motion, please, to approve the staff recommendation to issue a final license to In Good Health Incorporated MP281307 Product Manufacturing. Uh, can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Uh, let's work. Chair Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Flanagan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Commissioner Title? Abstain. Let the record show that the Commission uh, approved the staff recommendation uh, to issue a final license to In Good Health Incorporated MP281307, product manufacturer, uh, with a vote of four in favor. Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, McBride, with Commissioner Title abstaining. Uh, let me next ask for a motion, please, to approve the staff recommendation to issue a final license to In Good Health Incorporated, MR282468 Retail. Can I have such a motion, please? So uh, moved. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, I have a comment on this one. Um, on this one? Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, so it was noted in the report that for delivery, um, body cameras are being used. Um, so this is separate, of course, and from the other discussion that we were having about body cameras. Um, do we have assurance that the patients are receiving notice that the deliveries are being recorded? And if not, can I add that as a condition? Uh, Mr. Bayer? I'm not aware that they have that notice for patients, um, but we can certainly find out and report back. Okay. Um, can I then add a condition that if the patients are not receiving that notice that um, they add that procedure? Any other comments or questions? So, um, this is with respect to retail solely, so we're not going to go. Okay. Uh, then I would like to ask for a motion, please, to approve the staff recommendation to issue a final license to In Good Health Incorporated MR282468 retail subject to the additional condition requested by Commissioner Title. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second? Thank you. Um, let the record show Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Commissioner Title? Abstain. Uh, let the record show that the Commission approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to In Good Health Incorporated MR282468 retail subject to the additional condition requested by Commissioner Title with a vote of four in favor. Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride with Commissioner Title abstaining. Thank you. Uh, next up uh, are three licenses for M3 Ventures co-located, so we'll discuss uh, one recommendation and then uh, vote separately on all three. Uh, so M3 Ventures Incorporated, MC281446, Tier 2 Indoor Cultivation, M3 Ventures Incorporated, MP281346, Product Manufacturing, and M3 Ventures Incorporated, MR281290, Retail. Mr. Potvin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you stated, the licensee is M3 Ventures Incorporated. They are located at 9 Collins Avenue in Plymouth, Mass. The three final licenses being sought here are a Tier 2 Indoor Cultivation License, Product Manufacturing License, and a Retail License. The licensee was approved for a provisional licensure for all of those types of licenses on August 9th of 2018. They have paid all their applicable fees. There has been no new information reported to staff regarding the organizational structure of the entity. Additionally, no new information has been discovered by staff regarding the suitability of the licensee. Commission staff inspected the facility on the following dates, November 5th of 2018, December 12th of 2018, and July 15th of 2019. The licensee's facility was inspected by staff and found to be now full in, in full compliance. There was no evidence discovered during the inspections that indicated that the establishment was not in compliance with applicable state laws and local bylaws and ordinances. Commission uh, staff did review security requirements, the inventory and storage requirements, the licensee's cultivation operation, product manufacturing operation, retail operation, and transportation activities. Commission staff, therefore, do recommend final licensure with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Potman. Are there questions or comments? 
uh, Commissioner I McBride. A, I just had a clarifying question. So in the um, report, um, it states that Plymouth Fire Department did require that M3 Ventures obtain a permit for storing their ethanol used for extraction for product manufacturing. Um, do we know that they did receive that permit? I just wanted to make sure that I'm reading this correctly, that they did receive the permit. Our staff did uh, uh, confirm with the Plymouth Fire Department that they did obtain that permit. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Are there any other questions or comments? Okay. Uh, then I'd like to ask, please, for a motion to approve the staff recommendation issue a final license to M3 Ventures Incorporated, MC281446, Tier 2 Indoor Cultivation. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? I'm sorry, Commissioner McBride. Thank you. Uh, let the record show that Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Commissioner Title? Abstain. Uh, let the record show that uh, the uh, Commission approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to M3 Ventures Incorporated, MC281446, Tier 2 Indoor Cultivation, uh, by a vote of four in favor, Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride, with Commissioner Title abstaining. Uh, let me next ask for a motion to approve the staff recommendation to issue a final license to M3 Ventures Incorporated, MC281346, <coughs> Product Manufacturing. Um, can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. All opposed? Commissioner Title? Abstain. Uh, let the record show that the Commission approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to M3 Ventures Incorporated, MP281346, Product Manufacturing, by a vote of four in favor. Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride with Commissioner Title abstaining. Let me next ask for a motion, please, to approve the staff recommendation to uh, issue a final license to M3 Ventures Incorporated, MR281290, Retail. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Uh, let the record show that Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Commissioner Title. Abstain. Let the record show that the Commission approved the staff recommendation to issue a final license to M3 Ventures Incorporated, MR281290, retail with a vote of four in favor. Commissioners Doyle, Hoffman, Flanagan, and McBride with Commissioner Title abstaining. Thank you. Um, I believe that is it for provisional licensing today. Is that correct? Um, and, or excuse me, for final licensing. So we have uh, seven uh, provisional licenses that we'll go through. Um, I do want to just restate that uh, while I said earlier that for renewals and final licenses, my intention would be to do them as rosters going forward, unless a, an individual commissioner asked us to uh, uh, talk about one or more individually. Um, for provisional licenses, my intent is to continue to talk about them individually, um, given that this is the first time that the commission is really exposed to the license and to the public is exposed to the license application. I think it's appropriate and necessary that we go through each of them individually going forward, certainly including today. So uh, let's do that, starting uh, with uh, the first provisional license is for Cureleaf, if I'm correct. Um, and just let me catch up with myself if I could. So the first license uh, that we will review is Curly uh, Massachusetts Incorporated MRN282183 Retail. Uh, Mr. Bonfin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The applicant here is Curly Massachusetts Incorporated. The proposed location is 124 West Street, Unit D in Ware, Mass. The license being sought here is a retail license. This application was reopened three times for additional information. The individuals associated with this application include Patrick Johnson, Jonathan Foster. Stuart Wilcox, Joseph Lasati, Stephen Paterno, Carl Johansson, Peter Derby, Gary Stein, Devin Earl, Diane Albanez, Christine Rigby, Peter Claitman, Boris Jordan, and Andre Bloke. Two entities other than the applicant itself that are associated with this application include Curaleaf Incorporated and Curaleaf Holdings Incorporated. This applicant was a uh, priority applicant. They did secure a host community agreement on December 4th of 2018. They did conduct a community outreach meeting on December 13th of 2018. The commission did receive a municipal response from Ware on June 7th of 2019, stating that the applicant was in compliance with local ordinances or bylaws. The applicant did submit a positive impact plan, which includes the following goals, advertise open positions in Monson's The Journal Register and Holyoke's The Daily Hampshire, Hampshire Gazette, to attract individuals from areas of disproportionate impact, partner with Holyoke Community College to offer cannabis industry classes to students 21 and over, and third, provide donations through fundraising to Nueva Esperanza, a community-based organization located in Holyoke. 
There were no concerns arising from the background checks on any of the individuals and entities associated with this application. There were some disclosures, however, none of the disclosures raised suitability issues. The applicant did state that they could be operational as soon as it receives its provisional license. Um, the applicant did submit a diversity plan stating that the following goals, advertise open employment positions to publications directed to minorities, women, veterans, and persons with disabilities, and additionally sponsor events with local chambers of commerce and community organizations to aid in improving the skills of diverse people and increase their opportunities for employment. As this is a retail application, they did submit a plan for obtaining marijuana and marijuana products. As they are a vertically integrated MTC, the applicant does plan to obtain marijuana from its affiliated licenses. Therefore, commission staff do recommend issuing a provisional license with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Potman. Are there questions or comments? Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Flanagan. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, um, I have a question about the positive impact plan. The one that I saw, and I, and I think it's the revised copy, um, or the revised plan says that their partnership with Holyoke Community College was currently under evaluation and that the program hadn't been approved yet by the state. So my question is, has it been approved by the state? Um, and if not, what is their plan to put something in place of this? Right, thank you. Anything else? No. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, then. Uh, let me ask, please, for a motion to uh, approve the staff recommendation issue of provisional license to Secure Leaf, Massachusetts Incorporated, MR 281, or excuse me, <laughs> 282183 retail, subject to the condition requested by Commissioner Flanagan. That's such a motion, please. So moved. Can I have a second, please? Uh, let the record show that uh, Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, let the uh, record show that Commissioner Nassie approved the uh, Staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to Cure Leaf, Massachusetts Incorporated, MRN 282183 retail, subject to the uh, additional condition requested by Commissioner Flanagan. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to Cure Leaf, Massachusetts Incorporated, MRN 282052 retail. Mr. Potvin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, the applicant here is Cure Leaf, Massachusetts Incorporated. The proposed location is 170 Commercial Street in Provincetown, Mass. Um, the license being sought here is a retail license again. This application was reopened five times for additional information. Um, as previously stated on the previous application for your consideration, the individuals and entities associated with this application are the same. The applicant, again, is a priority applicant. They did some, uh, execute a host community agreement with Provincetown on November 14th of 2018. They did conduct a community outreach meeting on June 7th of 2018. We did receive a municipal response from the Provincetown on June 10th of 2019. Their um, positive impact plan has the following goals. Provide mentoring, professional, and technical services for individuals and businesses looking to enter into the cannabis industry in Wareham. And additionally, provide donations through fundraising to provide Knockham to Wareham Police Department to help fight addiction. Again, there was no concerns arising from the background checks on any of these individuals and entities. Again, there were some disclosures. However, none of these disclosures raised suitability issues. The applicant, again, stated that they could be operational as soon as it receives its provisional license. The applicant did submit a diversity plan. The goals of the diversity plan include the following, advertise open employment positions to publications directed to minorities, women, veterans, and persons with disabilities, and perform outreach to increase employment applications to at least 30% of underrepresented populations. Again, their plan for obtaining marijuana and marijuana products is the same as previously discussed. Therefore, commission staff do recommend issuing a provisional license with the conditions. <coughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Potman. Are there questions or comments? Uh, thank you. Then uh, let me ask, please, for a motion to approve staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to Secure Leaf, Massachusetts, Incorporated, MRN 282052 Retail. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Uh, let the Director Chair Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner McBride. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let the record show the Commission unanimously approved the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to Cure Leaf, Massachusetts, Incorporated, MRN 282052 Retail. Thank you. Uh, next up are three uh, provisional license applications from HVD Massachusetts Incorporated, co-located, so one report and three votes. Uh, Mr. Potvin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you stated, the applicant here is HVV Massachusetts Incorporated. The proposed location is 39 Great Republic Drive in Gloucester, Mass. The three licenses being sought is a Tier 3 indoor cultivation license, product manufacturing license, and a retail license. 
The applications associated with these were reopened once for additional information. The two individuals associated with this application include Michael Reardon and Edward Louth, both as directors. There is one entity other than the applicant itself associated with this application. It's HV Ventures Mass LLC, which is a capital contributor. The applicant was a priority applicant. They did secure a host community agreement on March 28th of 2019. They conducted a community outreach meeting on April 30th of 2019. We did receive a municipal response from Glossar on August 5th, stating that the applicant was in compliance with local ordinances and bylaws. The applicant submitted a positive impact plan, which includes the following goals. Engage with the community to ensure that any programs directed towards aiding disproportionately impacted populations are provided with appropriate resources. Provide $25,000 on an annual basis to assist a program called Girls Leap. And lastly, serve communities that have been disproportionately impacted through volunteer efforts. There were no concerns arising from the background checks on any of the individuals and entities associated with these applications. There were some disclosures. However, none of the disclosures raised any suitability issues. The applicant did submit a timeline that states that they could be operational within three months of receiving its provisional licenses. The applicant did submit a diversity plan, which includes the following goals. Recruit and hire a diverse group of employees that values and promotes inclusiveness among the workforce. Secondly, create a safe, accepting, and respectful work environment. And lastly, prioritize working with suppliers that are owned and, and or managed by minority groups. As this is a presentation for a cultivation product manufacturing and a retail license, they did submit the following plans. The applicant did submit a detailed cultivation plan that demonstrated their ability to comply with the commission's regulations. Additionally, they did submit a list of products that they plan on producing before you. And additionally, they did submit a plan for obtaining marijuana or marijuana products. Therefore, commission staff do recommend issuing provisional license with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Potman. Are there questions or comments? Uh, we'll vote individually again, but are questions or comments on any of these things? Uh, Commissioner McBride? I just have a comment. Um, I think that this might be the first uh, provisional license that I'm not going to ask for the condition on product manufacturing because they did a really nice job of providing um, a good level of detail in the products that they plan on manufacturing, including descriptions. So. Thank you. Mr. Chairman? Uh, Commissioner Doyle. Uh, thank you. Um, this applicant relied on priority RMD status to receive uh, a uh, expedited review by our licensing team and I see movement forward on their uh, medical license but uh, I don't see an updated timeline for them so I'd just like to have them as a condition of this license which they are receiving in a faster fashion because of their RMD status I would like to see an updated timeline on their associated RMD. Thank you, Commissioner Doyle. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Flanagan. Um, I'd like to put the condition that they resubmit their proposal under the Positive Impact Plan for the Community Outreach Advisory Committee. Um, while I appreciate the intent, I have questions as to who's going to be on the advisory committee. I know it says um, those who are within the HEV organization. I'd like to know whether they are leadership or staff. And I think there's a difference there. And also, um, I would like to know the I just like to make sure that they have letters from any organization that they're giving money to before the money is um, is given thank you Commissioner Flanagan anything else Commissioner title I would like to add a condition that they resubmit their diversity plan to include measurable goals and uh, Commissioners Doyle, uh, Title, and Flanagan, I presume those request conditions apply to all three of the licenses, is that correct? Um, yes. Okay. Anything else? Okay, then uh, we'll uh, go through each separately. Uh, let's start with uh, HVV Massachusetts Incorporated MCN 281-121 Tier 3 Indoor Cultivation. Um, can I ask for a motion, please, to approve the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license subject to the conditions requested by Commissioners Flanagan, Doyle, and, and Title? So. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the Commission unanimously approved the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to HVV Massachusetts Incorporated, MCN 281 Tier 3 Indoor Cultivation, subject to the conditions requested by Commissioners Flanagan. Doyle and title. 
Uh, let me next ask, please, for a motion to approve the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to HVB Massachusetts Incorporated, MPN 281657, product manufacturing, again, subject to conditions requested by Commissioner Slanigan Doyle and Title. Can I have such a motion, please? Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the Commission asked me to approve the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to HVV Massachusetts Incorporated, MPN 281657, product manufacturing subject to conditions requested by Commissioner Flanagan, Doyle, and Title. Uh, next, let me ask please for a motion to approve the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to HVV Massachusetts, MRN 282578 retails, again subject to conditions requested by Commissioner Flanagan, Doyle, and Title. Can I have such a motion, please? Can I have a second, please? Second. That's me, yeah. Uh, let the record show that Commissioner uh, McBride made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the Commission has to approve the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to HVV Massachusetts Incorporated, MRN 282578 retail, subject to the conditions requested by Commissioner Slanigan, Doyle, and Title. Thank you. Uh, next up is. Uh, our two licenses, again, co-located for uh, the Heirloom uh, Collective uh, Incorporated. So first, uh, Heirloom Collective Incorporated, MCN 281438, uh, which is uh, Tier 2 Indoor Cultivation, and then also for the Heirloom uh, Collective Incorporated, MPN 281407 Product Manufacturing. Mr. Pockman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The applicant here is the uh, Heirloom Collective Incorporated. The proposed location is 87 Northvale Road in Berniston, Mass. Two licenses being sought here are a Tier 2 Indoor Cultivation License and a Product Manufacturing License. Both of these applications were reopened once for additional information. The individuals associated with, this with these applications include James Cunahan, Timothy Van Epps, both, uh, and Patrick Clooney, all as executives, and Christopher David as a director. This applicant was an R&D priority applicant. They did secure a host community agreement on February 5th of 2019. A community outreach meeting was uh, conducted on March 5th of 2019. The commission did receive a municipal response on July 31st, stating that the applicant was in compliance with local ordinances or bylaws. The applicant did submit a positive impact plan, which includes the following goals, hire 15% of individuals from disproportionately impacted areas, and additionally contract with 15% of its vendors, contractors, and builders from Greenfield, as well as individuals from the social equity program. There were no concerns arising from the background checks on the individuals and entities associated with this application. There were some disclosures, however, none of those disclosures raised suitability issues. The applicant did submit a proposed timeline that states that they could be operational within two months of receiving its provisional licenses. The applicant did submit a diversity plan, which includes the following goals. Create a diverse workplace by employing 50% women and 20% of minorities, veterans, persons with a disability, or persons of all gender identities and sexual orientations, and additionally utilize diverse suppliers. As this is a cultivation and product manufacturing applications, they did submit a cultivation plan that demonstrated their ability to comply with the Commission's regulations. Additionally, they did submit a list uh, summary of the products that they plan on producing. Therefore, Commission staff do recommend issuing provisional licenses with the conditions before you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Potvin. Are there questions or comments? Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Flanagan. Uh, Mr. Chairman, in their positive impact plan, I just want to make one comment that I, um, I appreciate the fact that part of their plan is to utilize suppliers and contractors who meet the guidelines um, for pos positive impacted areas. Um, so I appreciate their efforts in using ancillary businesses as part of this plan. Thank you, Commissioner Pagan. Are there other comments or questions? Mr. Uh, Commissioner Doyle. Um, I have the same condition on this particular license that I had on the prior licenses. Yeah, they have relied on a priority RMD status, and I want to have as a condition of this license a report on how they are maintaining that status. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Doyle. Uh, other comments, questions? Commissioner Title. Commissioner Title and Commissioner McBride. Go ahead, Commissioner Title. Thank you. Uh, just a minor um, edit to the diversity plan. Um, they made the same uh, error that's come up before where they they wrote that 20% should come from various populations and they included people of all gender identities. So if they can just fix that. Okay, thank you. Commissioner McBride. I'd like to add a condition um, to the summary of products to be produced 
that under vaporizer cartridges that the applicants provide um, a listing of what flavors they intend to produce, um, that they also um, provide us with information on any thickening agents and terpenes that may be used um, in the manufacture of um, their um, vaporizer cartridges and, and the oils in them. And I um, would like to raise this and, and see this as something that we do going forward okay. um, when a product manufacturer is going to be making babies. Mr. Executive Director, can we commit to that? Yes, absolutely. Great, thank, thank you. you. Uh, anything else? Then uh, again, we'll uh, we'll just vote on, on these separately. Um, uh, so first, let me ask for a motion to approve the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to the Heirloom Collective Incorporated MCN two eight one four three eight, subject to the conditions requested by Commissioners McBride, Doyle, and Title. Can I have such a motion, please? So second. Uh, let the record show Commissioner Doyle made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Flanagan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let the record show that the Commission unanimously approved the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to the Heirloom Collective Incorporated MCN 281438 Tier 2 Indoor Cultivation, subject to the additional conditions requested by Commissioners McBride, Doyle, and Title. Um, I'd like to next ask, please, for a motion to approve the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to the Heirloom Collective <coughs> Incorporated MPN 281407 Product Manufacturing, again, subject to conditions requested by Commissioners McBride, Doyle, and Title. Can I have such a motion, please? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Let the record show Commissioner Flanagan made the motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Doyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show the Commission unanimously approved the staff recommendation to issue a provisional license to the Heirloom Collective Incorporated, MPN 281407, product manufacturing, subject to the conditions requested by Commissioners McBride, Doyle, and Title. Thank you. I believe that is it for provisional licenses. And once again, I think I talked more than you did. Um, uh, I am not aware of any additional um, um, agenda items before uh, um, that came up after we sent out the agenda. Uh, so before I ask for a uh, motion to adjourn, let me just uh, talk about upcoming meetings. Um, our next uh, um, normal public meeting uh, for the commission is on October 10th, 10 a.m. I please, uh, I would like everybody please to notice uh, it is in Springfield. Uh, we want to thank the uh, Western New England University School of Law for allowing us to use facilities. We're committed to be a statewide agency, and so uh, I think it's important that we have at least some of these meetings in other parts of the state behind, uh, besides Boston. Uh, we have not uh, um, uh, got locations yet for our next two public meetings afterwards, November 7th and December 5th, but as soon as we have those, we'll, uh, we'll communicate them. Um, we are, as I mentioned yesterday, um, going to schedule a meeting a uh, week after next to uh, take a final vote on our regulations uh, time and place to be determined, but we'll communicate that as quickly as we, uh, as we get that set. Um, at that point, uh, being uh, that there's no further business for the Commission, may I ask for a motion to adjourn? So moved. Can I have second. a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. We are adjourned as of 11.13 a.m. Thank you very much.